Um, real quick, first off, just curious, the, the special meetings that are coming up in the next few days, that is to interview, those are different interviews for various candidates for the administrative, administrator, who, what are those? It said hiring, 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 but who is it that's being hired? City administrator. The city administrator, okay, okay, that's what, that's what I figured from what people were saying. So while I'm up here, um, when I first got to Idaho and to Hayden, I was like, what, what's an urban renewal? What, what are you talking about? And the more I have learned about the structure of this, and I understand it with the structure was provided for by the state, the more I'm thinking, I don't even see how the structure of this is constitutional. I don't see how it's constitutional for taxpayers to give their money to a non-governmental agency. I don't, I don't understand how that's even legal. So needless to say, I am very much opposed to expanding the urban renewal districts in Hayden. Um, and as I've been trying to learn about this, and I did, I did some research on Kootenai County website, and it says taxing districts are required to support all of the structures and populations within their districts, regardless of the funds available to accomplish this. Urban renewal districts often bring new construction and growth to community, but taxing districts don't see the revenue created by this growth until the urban renewal district ends, which is typically around 24 years. So the Walmart is I, the example that's given all the time, it's bought, pays $1,300 a year in taxes, here, and it was bare land at that point, gets built, all right, now it's paying like $90,000 a year in taxes, which does not go to the city of Hayden. And then Hura turns around and goes, oh, here, let us, let us give you these little, these little dollars, you know, sometimes if you want a little help with something, it was money that should have gone to Hayden in the first place. <clears throat> and then because that money, you know, not just Walmart, but other places, isn't, um, isn't coming to Hayden, then the poor law enforcement people have to go ask for a levy. So we're not getting the money that Walmart's, you know, supposed to be giving to Hayden, but then the individual taxpayers have to pay more. Talk about reallocating wealth distribution in favor of the people who already have the money. So the other thing that was on here on the Kootenai County site said urban renewal le causes levy rates to increase at a faster rate or in some cases not decrease as much as it would have otherwise. This means each taxpayer is responsible for providing a larger percentage of the taxing district's budget. And I don't understand exactly how this works, but apparently it, whatever happens in Hayden, it still affects the other people. It affects everybody else in Kootenai County. You know, the taxing districts and the money that gets taken away, that gets given to Hura and Hayden also affects other places in Kootenai County. As I said, I don't understand exactly how that works, but um, um, it's, it's, what was it? And I couldn't find anything later than 2020, but in 2020, a few years ago, the Hayden Urban Renewal Agency took $873,354, you know, so what has it been since then? So I am very much against this expansion. I, I'd like to starve them out, not expand in, anything until, uh, and, and I'm not, I'm not blaming, frankly, I'm not blaming the people who are on Hura. That's you guys. You guys make those decisions. You guys decided, I guess, in the beginning, you know, how this was supposed to be structured. The, the, the basics were provided by the state, but that's your responsibility to say, no, we want our taxpayers to pay the money to Hayden. You know, you got a project you want to do, you outline the project, you get quotes, you allocate the money, and then you hire a contractor. That's what you do. Thank you.
Thank you.